But when, when, when I worked for the Chilean survey, Pan Pancho switched from El Tenien to the survey, and we both happened fortuitously to be based in Iquique. So you... And those, those days were the beginning of the coffee system, so yeah, you know, yeah. which I decided I, I want to, to, to be an expert in coffee coppers. So in those days I would read only and nothing but papers that are related to coffee coppers. So when I received the Economic Geology magazine I would read only the coffee coppers, the papers and nothing else. And it worked. Uh, yeah, and it worked. And, and so the, for instance, the plate tectonics yeah. it passed by in front of me and I didn't see it. <laughs> so, yeah. Dick was mentioning today Kennedy was developing in terms yeah. of the rich capital enterprises, the hydrothermal the, the sonation of the operation. I mean, there, the first time I heard of potassium cultivation was there, and they didn't there, and they didn't speak, they didn't mention, they didn't refer to potassium cultivation. They would say, K feldspar. Yeah. It was a K feldspar was a, a biotite, but basically K feldspar yeah. and sericitic cultivation. And those yeah. in guys like Dennis Morton, remember yeah. Dennis Morton, yeah. 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 Larry Campbell, and the other guy, this guy, uh, Richard uh, Nielsen. B. B. Nielsen. 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 All those guys yeah. were the young guys, and we shared our knowledge in those days. And, and well, it's amazing the way things have changed. You know? yeah. I mean, stuff, stuff, stuff that we take for granted, yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. But if you, if you go back 40 or 50 years, yeah. all, all this yeah, stuff we're not even dreamt about. Mm. Yeah. You, we, thought, we thought we knew a lot, but we didn't yes. know much, really. No. Yeah. I remember attack the Domenico fault system. <laughs> all the complications that they you know, all the faults and everything. And in those days, the, the Domenico fault, we didn't realize that they existed. And actually, when, the, when in 1990, Victor Massai published uh, the, the geology of the Antofagasta region, <laughs> in the, the, the Domenico fault system, there are three lines <laughs> <laughs> and now it's me! It's a mess of life, it's a mess of falls of the world. All the things have changed enormously. Yeah. But, the, but the point is, I think what we have to realise, I mean, is, is, is that 20 years down the pipe... Yeah, what's it going to look like in yeah, 30 years from now? I've I, I, I no doubt at all that it's going to, it's going to develop just as dramatically, if, if not more so, than it has over the last 40 or 50 years. That's fantastic. Not that it's as sure as hell not going to remain static. No, no. Some finite limit. But, I mean, but there's always more more wrinkles that are kind of come out of this thing. If, if you've got the right people to, you know, it's going to be the, the the young kids who've got to have to do it. But it hasn't really it has an impact much on exploration. I mean, it, 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 it's been radical changes in you know metal transport, understanding of metal transport, and this sort of thing. But do you target on the basis of metal transport? Of course no, not. You don't. No. It helps the specialists understand it. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if you're up to understanding the literature, <laughs> <laughs> a, lot it does, a lot of it does depend on good reading and yeah. 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 The thing that you commissioned from Sanakia Mean, you know, with, with um, Cochabarsis, yeah. and that was that that was I think that was the, one of the key breakthroughs. Really. If you don't have the regional geology sorted out, you know, all the other stuff never falls properly into place. Really.